Your art is going to suck. That's it. That's just how it is. I'm sorry. I recently heard some people on YouTube saying that if you're frustrated with your drawings, you should forget the fundamentals and draw however you want and you'll improve as long as you enjoy it, they say. <laughs> so apparently I am the idiot to constantly go back to the fundamentals to improve as an artist, right? Me and everyone else doing it at a high level, yeah. It's true that it, you should enjoy your drawings, but let me tell you, no, 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 no. Your skills won't improve if you listen to such silly advice, let's say. Uh, do you know who gives that kind of advice? Beginner artists. The problem isn't that they are beginners. The problem is that they don't know how to deal with their own frustration. They lack a method. So they prefer to fall into mediocrity because it's more comfortable. And at that point, yes, AI will definitely be better than you. A damn machine will be chosen over you because at the same level of mediocrity, the cheaper option wins, right? That's it. It is true that if you don't want to be a professional artist, no one can stop you from staying in your bubble. But one thing is certain. This is the recipe for failure, the perfect setup for mediocrity. At some point, you'll run out of fuel to keep practicing. And the reason is simple. To have long-lasting and sustainable practice, you need intrinsic motivators like curiosity, the pursuit of excellence and improvement, and purpose. These are the only elements that let you enter and stay in the flow state to enjoy the practice and make it sustainable. The artist's journey is tough, man. We know that it's fucking tough. But it's precisely that magnificent flow state we experience while practicing that keeps us going. You know, when you are there bent over on your paper and the pencil is gliding and scratching with that ASMR sound like... <laughs> and your whole being is immersed in creation. I've spent hours in this state without noticing anything else. And I'm sure you do as well. The truth is you don't have a system, you don't have a track to build on, you're lost and in the darkness of uncertainty you take refuge in that glimmer which is your bubble. Unfortunately, the light is too dim for you to see beyond. The problem is, if you're not in it to improve yourself, ask yourself why you're doing it. Based on that answer you give, you'll understand how sustainable your artistic life will be. When it comes to mastering an art, frustration comes from lack of improvement. The lack of improvement comes from distraction. The key is focus. Consider this, if you're aiming to learn anatomy but constantly worry about style because you want to draw anime girls like, let's say, I don't know, the famous artist of the moment, you'll always feel like you're not making progress. First, because you're comparing yourself to someone light years ahead of you, and that's wrong. Second, because you're worrying about too many things at once. Your concern should be systematic. It means you should worry about one thing at a time. If you're training anatomy that day, you won't care about line art, for example. If you're training gesture, you won't care about shading and so on. The conscious act of focusing on one thing at a time is what speeds up the learning process. You know what they say, don't create goals, create systems that will lead you to those goals. You know how to keep system interesting? By creating personal projects. That's what I say all the time. Personal projects are the fuel of your activity. For example, if you want to study just your drawing, first of all, go watch my dedicated video on that so you know where to start. Then create a character for a story. But remember, the focus is not the story, it's the character and more specifically, how they move. Because the focus of your study that day is gesture. So you'll focus on how they move, what movements characterize them. And this way you practice sketching to find poses and lines of action and so on. And at the end of the day, guess what? You'll have not only made progress in learning gesture, but also have half of an original character design done. This is learning by doing with real projects, not just theory. Projects that you'll then publish and use to build your own portfolio. So to sum up, the message is very simple. 
focus on one thing at a time to speed up the learning process because multitasking is nonsense and do it by creating your own project so you learn by creating real assets that you use for your career and your future project and that's all if you found this video helpful like comment uh, let me know how you approach learning and check out my patreon if you want to support me bye